Hi, I'm Ash. I'm John. Let's talk magic. Alright, so this past week, uh, I had to skip a few PPTQs, uh, one Saturday, one Sunday, because of real life, but I have been playing locally. Uh, I tried out Bant Heroic on Monday, and it did not go so well. I went 0-2, so I did not play that deck again uh, on Wednesday. But on Wednesday, I did uh, go 4-0-1 in a Wednesday Night Magic tournament, and I only lost one game. So, and that was with Mono Red. So, it went back. It worked well. What'd you lose to? On Monday, I lost to Green Red Devotion and the Esper Dragons deck that did really well at Grand Prix Krakow, I believe is how you pronounce it. Some European town. In Poland. But, uh, <laughs> in, Poland. in Poland. And also myself, mostly, I lost to on Monday. I realized after the games I made a lot of mistakes. Should have done a lot different. So it was also your first time playing the deck, so and it was kind of just a ah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Gave it a test run. Yeah, I've been playing Obzon still. I'm still play testing for tomorrow. Actually, Jacksonville, the regional PTQ. I'm leaving today, and on Monday I uh I went. What did I? What happened? I I actually. And three one and one, right? Yeah, I went three one one. I had an unintentional draw with somebody. We just had a stalemate, and uh, we—I mean, we did really well. So, me and my deck, <laughs> me, my baby. Uh, we, yeah, I, I did really, I did, I did all right. And on Wednesday, I actually wasn't able to play, um, as I didn't get to play magic with everybody. I fell asleep. And, didn't wake up. <laughs> but I've been playtesting a lot this entire week. I've been uh, trying to tune my deck to see what's going to, what I'm going to be playing against this weekend. Um, I expect a lot of Esper Dragons, uh, the uh, Tarka's Red deck. Um, what else? It probably... Some mirror matches for you. Yeah, there'll definitely be some mirror matches. A lot of people are either going to be playing Abs on Control or the Esper Dragons, I think. So the aggro deck for me, but which is what I am playing, I'm just trying to tune it for the meta and see what exactly is good and what exactly would benefit me more. The uh, regional PTQ is only going to be like 60-some players. It's not going to be very big. It's going to feel like an FNM, but with really good players. So here's hoping... <laughs> So one time me. You need time top four? Yeah, top four makes it to the pro tour. If there were 128 players, top eight, but uh, I guess top four will do. <laughs> All right. Um, what decks are you worried about seeing, and what decks do you think you'll dominate when you go? Huh. Well, um, I, I mean, I am going to see Esper Dragons, I'm sure, and it is probably one of the worst one of the worst matchups only because it's the it's the control deck, you know. They are just making it so you can't play anything and then eventually they'll just wipe your board and you and then they they start hitting you with hexproof dragons. So you kind of want to beat them down it so they can't do that. Uh, Thought Seize is definitely helpful in that situation because they either uh, spend a counter on it or you get to take one of their dragons. Um, there's, there's a couple things I was thinking about for sideboard plans that are untraditional just to keep with it, like just to have like the upper hand on that meta. Uh, I was talking to John about it earlier today as well. He doesn't like my untraditional, my untraditional yeah. uh, values, but uh. I think that they're okay. Um, they've helped me in the past. It's worked. And uh, another one I'm, I know that I'm going to be playing against is the the red, the mono red deck. So, or even the Atarka red. So it's definitely going to like keeping the the meta for a control deck, but also a very fast base aggro deck is really, really difficult because it's usually either, okay, I, I can I can beat this, but I can't beat that. Whereas I'm kind of in the middle for both of them. So 
Um, I definitely have a I definitely have a better matchup against the Atarka Red, I think, because it's either just like who who can who can last longer. But I don't I don't see anything being either too difficult or too dominating, as long as I have the confidence and I play the deck. Yeah, your deck's more of like a 50-50 against the field kind of deck where you just outplay them instead of making a metagame call like a aggressive red deck to beat up the control decks and maybe lose to like Absent Control. But uh... I feel like I'm going to be playing a lot of mirror matches, which I hope will will benefit me in the sense that I will be able to go faster than they will. So, and at the same time not lose all my resources. Yeah, I feel like you're favored against the Abzan control deck as Abzan aggro because mm -hmm. you put them on the back foot in yeah. most cases. So uh, here's hoping. The only yeah. thing that might be a problem is if they go like carry it into Rhino, then you're on the back foot and it's kind of rough, but yeah. I feel like that matchup's good. Uh, the red matchup could be a toss up. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Esper Dragons, I don't think you're favored, but I think some of the things you're working on are good. I don't like your foul invocation or it's foul tongue good, invocation tech. It's a good tech. It sounds good in theory because it's three mana, it makes them sacrifice one of their hexproof dragons, but in my opinion, the way to beat the Esper Dragons deck would be to go under it. So instead of worrying about them playing a dragon, just make it, by the time they play a dragon, you already have a board of two or three creatures. And then you just don't have to worry about the dragon as much, especially if it's the the Ujitai, because it has to attack in order for it to actually mean a lot to them. Well, at the same time, the Ujitai is, like, yes, they, will, they could just throw down the Ujitai and then turn six, they uh, crux of fate you. So having those trying to stay underneath, if I haven't, if I wasn't able to monstrous my fleece main line, then I am just dead because they have something else. So like having that, having that card that, yes, maybe that card does have hex proof because you're never attacking with it because that's why you have it there. I can't attack into it with all my, I can't attack into it with other things. So like, having something to make them sacrifice their only creature is also helpful. So Ooh. I'll let you know how it works. It's going to happen. My tech's going to work. <laughs> so I'm Ash. And I'm John. And we'll see you next time on Let's Talk Magic.